Hi, I'm Rob Gorham, Deputy Director of Technology Development at America Makes. Amazing things have been happening in the world of 3D printing and additive manufacturing, and we are so proud to be part of such an enthusiastic community. At America Makes, we have been instrumental at getting the ball rolling in new developments and new partnerships that no one thought possible just a few short years ago. We have awarded millions of dollars through the support of our partners and through a true public-private partnership to innovate and integrate 3D printing into the United States economy to support job growth and a resilient and strong manufacturing base for years to come. Our members are diverse in size and scope and they're already making impacts in communities across the country. We wanted to see for ourselves, so we traveled to Houghton, Michigan, home of Michigan Tech University. Check out this America Makes moment. Houghton is located on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. To get some perspective, we traveled further north in Green Bay, Wisconsin and Duluth, Minnesota. It is a town of some 7,000 people and has been listed as one of the 100 best small towns in America. The people are warm and friendly, extremely proud of their mining heritage, winter sports, and of course their famous pickled eggs. In the center of town is Michigan Technological University. It's a public research university of 7,000 students. Michigan Tech is also ranked as one of the best of the Midwest by the Princeton Review. It's a beautiful campus built on a bluff overlooking Portage Lake. Activities in the town tend to rally around activities on campus, including the annual Winter Carnival. The campus even has its own ski hill. But at the heart of all is education, and a diverse group of faculty and students are setting a standard in research and innovation that is unprecedented among schools of not only its similar size, but also of some of the largest institutes in the country. Well, the strength of the student population really is that they are very creative. Um, we, um, we specialize in kind of hands-on type things, and that's why this 3D printing thing really fits so well. It's a, and it's such a natural to come out of a place like this because, um, because people like to do things. They, 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 they're not just satisfied with knowing stuff. They're, they're, they're really satisfied with what they can do with what they know. Creative thinking, hands-on application, and 3D printing. What a perfect fit for America Makes. That is precisely why we chose Michigan Tech University and its partners as one of our awardees as part of the project call number two. They have expertise in low-cost 3D metal printing platforms and metal alloy development, and spearheading this effort is Professor Josh Pierce. We took one of these Delta bots and turned it upside down and have the stage, uh, an insulated stage, move underneath a MIG welder. We built this system and none of us were welders, so we, bought, we got the best welder on campus <laughs> to come and teach us and make sure we didn't kill ourselves the first time. And uh, it worked, like it worked out of the box. So we've written our own firmware that kind of basically turns these types of printers into ones that can do metal. And now we're kind of stepping up the technical evolution quickly uh, so that we can have something there where people can start to print metal objects with these exceptionally low-cost printers. To get people like Josh uh, on board was, was just fantastic. And since he's been here, he's just done a marvelous job at uh, not only uh, being able to take things and put them together to make stuff that nobody ever thought of yet, uh, but also to, um, to get students excited about it all as well. You know, Michigan Tech is not the you know, center hub of additive manufacturing in the U.S., so to put in a competitive project when you've got these massive groups, uh, we had to pull in a team of people that we thought were kind of believable, that actually were interested in manufacturing these things. What winning the American Makes Grant did is legitimize all of my work immediately and in the eyes of the deans and the provosts and the department heads so that it, it makes it so that I become more legitimate. I can hire PhD students specifically to work on 3D printing here. Like everybody here was kind of excited that we can now focus on metal 3D printing in a, in a serious way versus, you know, before that it was kind of like what you could do after hours, you know, what we could do with spare parts. Now we can do this for real and start treating this like a real project. So the, the um, kind of the, the beauty of America Makes is that as we're pushing into this new area of manufacturing, there's a ton of work to be done, and it's more than any single company could conceivably do by themselves. 
And so kind of forming this collaborative model where we're working together for an aim that benefits all of us, that can't be, um, you know, undersold. I cannot say enough about the power of open source to drive innovation forward. And if, if we think about what this can mean for the U.S., well now, everybody will have access to it. And so what that means is every tool shop, every designer, every engineering firm can start to wrap a prototype in metal inexpensively and quickly. And what that should do is make all of those uh, places innovate faster. It's back to the Wild West. And, and, and I think for people that are excited about making things, that's awesome. This is just the beginning. We are on the cusp of changing the way we make almost everything. And our friends at Michigan Tech University are one of the innovative teams helping us do just that. We are so happy to be part of growing and developing 3D printing and additive manufacturing that will support job growth for the U.S. economy. Hang on, we're in for a wild ride.